M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the ICOM RC15 receiver, which I really like. The strong points are the dual receive, the speed of the scanning, the sensitivity of the receiver and the built-in Bluetooth. Another plus, I think, is the way we can program this with three different softwares. We've got the ICOM software, which is about £40. We've got RT Systems. We've also got the ARC R15, which is what we're going to look at right now. There's a free month trial on this, and I definitely would say try it out. Now, it does use the SD card method of reading, where the RT system uses systems uses the serial port. So let me show you how you select the difference between that. So there's our device. We're going to go menu. We've got the USB cable plugged into our PC. We go menu, navigate to set, enter, and then go to function up and down until you get to function, enter, and then USB connect. And in this, with this software, we use SD card mode. Now it saves us. You go up and select yes. It saves us having to remove the SD card, although I have removed the SD card and put it into my adapter and that worked completely fine as well, whichever is best for you. The nice thing about it being connected to the cable, it does keep charging, which I quite like. So let's download the software and then open it. It's just next, 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 and then open. Okay, of course you have to validate it when you purchase it. We'll open the software, click down here, uh, my shortcut just my little arrow up shortcut like so and then up here we go to read sd card because we're in sd card mode i selected here and here i just clicked open and it populates there you go so I've got I've I've added a few memories, but not many. So the the first few here you'll see on the left. Look at groups on the left. You'll see that you've got Kansas, Dulles, is it Frankfurt? There's a few here Heathrow, and I'm pretty sure we had Marine Band in there as well. If you scroll down, I think you eventually see Marine Band at the top. We've got the different banks. So you have banks. With it, within each bank, there are channels. Okay, go like that. So you can see the channels. And very straightforward. Now you can just start typing frequencies, adding them in, copying and pasting. In the normal way. At the top, we've got, if you go to setup, you can rename the groups. So if we go to groups here, you've got groups and you can rename them here. OK, so I've added a couple of groups. You don't actually have to use groups or banks, I believe. You can just add channels. But anyway, so if we wanted to say rename bank, let's grab my keyboard, bank nine, we would just delete it and let's call it, I don't know, 70 centimeter repeaters and that's it we've named it but you've also got go to setup categories which will open in a sec there it is and you don't have to be in a category but when you do select a category you can actually select a little logo so if we do another one here saying uh, let's say my town Western Super Man. Yeah, and then we'll choose, say it's going to be my airplane frequency. So we'll, 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 we've chosen an airplane. And you've created a category. So you can, the idea is that you can choose how you want your scanner to look. You can have it in a category, in a bank, and then add your channels and you can you can actually change around what numbers the channels and what order the channels are in. So I, I'm brand new to the software, but this is what you can do. So categories, group names, and then let's have a look at you. You can import from radio reference, but you need to create an account. I've tried uploading to the scanner. If I just do that and see if it works now. Um, but I find it's all SD card based, so I'm not really sure about that. If anyone 
has had any luck with that. I find just using using it in the SD card mode. Let's flick through as what you can do here. You can. So I'm not really a cut, copy, and paste person. I tend to just type frequencies. But you've got cut, copy, paste, cut line, copy line, paste. So they've given you all the tools that you'll need. What's fill? Check. Up and down. Yeah, this is where you can move channels up and down. There's your direct link to radio reference again. And then read SD card and write to SD card, which you get there. And then you click write. So let have a go. Let me know if you've got any tips on this. I think it's worth it for the cost. For me, because I'm a very basic user, so I literally will just go to, say, bank 12. Yeah, like so. And let's just quickly work out how we can name edit group name. So bank 12. Let's just say, see, I right clicked it then and it let me go straight to this. So let's say I go on bank 12. I'm going to call it favorites. Like so. Click OK. It's now called favorites. And then I just start adding frequencies. So let's uh, let's just do just one of my favorites, which is one three three dot eight five zero. This is Bristol Airport. Uh, where can we give it a name? AM. Step. Choose a step. Uh, it's the alpha tag here. Bristol Airport. Like so. Offset if you want, all this kind of stuff. And we can even at the top here, look, no category. We don't have to, but we can put it in a category. Let's put it in airband. And that's it. So I just think um, with software, if you're willing to put, and it is literally hours and hours of work, moving things around, how you like it so that when you do get your scanner and it's a very nice scanner very neat package and you go out and about it's it's doing everything you want it to do so the more work you put into it the more you're going to enjoy the scanner if you want to just get out there because you can just come out of the scanner if you want like so like we have done we'll unplug the cable turn it on and you can do this with pretty much most well all scanners i would say you never have to do it the hard way or the the learning code you just go into vfo and it's a scan you know and if you hold down you go into dual receive and again just scan you set the the step just hold the quick button here you set the gap how you like it and then scan. So you might just want to do it that way or just use the presets. There's not that many presets in there. And of course, it does military band, aviation, marine bands, PMR, GMRS. Um, I think they have other another one in America. I've got what it's called. But anyway, you get the idea. If you you can see that I am not an expert on any of the software. But if you're willing to put the working. You can do this. No one's going to do it for you because, it, you know, it's just going to take a lot of work and familiarizing yourself because you can go for, you can import and export CS5, CSV files. You've got import here, look. Then you've got to learn about the columns and the kind of, you know, layout you want it to be. There's a learning curve for that as well. And then once you've done it, you can also, it says here, you can export file, export. There you are. It's selected that bank straight away click OK and let's just go to downloads and save they're going to do it go on then save well it's not my computer isn't letting me save but I'm really sure why it gives you that comma option if you're into CSV you'll know what that means import I'm just tinkering now. Import. Open. Download. Let's go to something I've got. Um, did one the other day with all the flight on. 
Yeah, there's one here. Let's see what it does. See, now it's brought all these in. These are from my flight stick. Okay, and then this is where I brought them in. Save, save as a CSV, which I've already got, I suppose. It saves something. Paste, remove. Yeah, I literally don't know. What, now, at this point, I literally don't know what to do now. Okay. So I'll watch some more videos on this. But, you know, I'm showing you the basics here. And uh, look at this. We've got replace string, convert. What else we got? Import HPD file. You can, if you know what HPD file is, isn't that Uniden? What else we got? Create, we can print, save. Just going down the view. Yeah, you're viewing, looks like the different banks. Options, remove line, empty line. So lots of options there, similar to the tabs. Categories, internet, scanner. I think that's enough. The more I learn, the more videos I will make. Bye for now. All the best.